In this lesson, we install Postgres in our local machine and understand how to interact with it by using pgadmin, which is a standard and free graphical tool for Postgres SQL database management that we can use for writing SQL queries, developing procedures, functions, and so on. I'm going to show you the process of installing Postgres SQL on Windows. We will also install and configure pgadmin4. So let's get to it. First, go to the link that you see here in the top. It is the official Postgres SQL website. Then click Download. And here, I'm going to select Windows. Now I'm going to find a download and start a link. It's here at the top. Click on it. Here, I'm going to select the latest version. At the time of recording, it is 15.1. But if you see a newer version, that should work as well. Go ahead and download that. I'm going to click on Download option under Windows. And here, click Save. And here, I'm going to pause the video right here for just a moment as it finishes off the download process and I will join back with you in just a second. Now in order to start the installation you need to run the downloaded file. PostgreSQL installation requires administrator rights. Let's run it. Here you go, the installer is coming up. Right, waiting for the installer to come up. And here you go, it's the top wizard. We're going to click next. Next, one more time. Select all, next, just confirm the default directory, next. And then finally, we need to enter a password right here. This is a password to log in to the database on your local machine. I really recommend that you just enter the password right here for right now. It can be changed later. You can use any password you want, but just make sure you remember it. I personally am going to use a simple root root. I'll click Next. We are going to leave the default port of 5432, the default locale, and that should be just about it. One more time, Next. And the last one. And there we go. Now it is actually doing the installation. Here it is also installing pgadmin, the free graphical tool that we talked about before. Also during installation, it will create a service that will start automatically Postgres when we boot our operation system. In my case, it is Windows. Overall, installation is not difficult. And now I'm going to pause the video and we'll join back you in a second. Looks like the installation is all done. We don't need for now Stack Builder. The select it. I'm going to click Finish to close out the window. Before we run pgadmin, just want to show you that service first. Let's go to Startup menu. Start typing services, click on services, and here start typing P-O-S-T, here it is, PostgreSQL. Look at the startup type, it is automatic as I told you. It will start Postgres and Windows startup. If you want, you can double click on it and set it to manual. In this case, you will need to come here and start this service manually every time you start up your Windows. For now, we will leave it as it was, automatic. Just cancel and cancel here. Now, finally, I'm going to go to my start menu and search for pgadmin. You should see the first right here. This is a database management platform. So we're going to launch this and then connect to the Postgres database that is now running on our local machine. The first time you launch this, it will take just a moment or two. And then once it has launched, we are going to be prompted to enter a password. The password that we are going to be asked to enter is a password to access pgadmin. It is just to get access to pgadmin. I really recommend to use the same password that you entered over in the Postgres installer a moment ago. I'm going to do that. I enter a password of root and hit OK. Next, we are going to click on servers on the top left hand side. As soon as you click on that, you are going to be prompted to enter a password. Again, password. This is going to be the same password that you entered while you were installing Postgres just a minute ago. So, my password was root. And I remember it. I'm going to enter that right now. And I'm going to select Save Password. Well, then I click on OK. And we will see that little panel right there to start expand. And that's it. We are now connected to Postgres installed on your local machine.